little Saturday. I hope you guys are really, 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 really doing well. Today, I had been craving a roast beef sandwich. I wasn't about to get a five, 10 pound roast, put it in the crock pot, let it cook for about four to six hours. I found an easier way. And I promise you, this recipe is going to be knock dead delicious. Now I know you're looking at the roast beef. I got this roast beef from the deli and I got like a half a pound and I know it seems red, you know, a little rare, but you wait till Miss O finish it up. It's not gonna be rare, it's not gonna be dry. It is going to be utterly delicious. And this recipe will take you less than 15 minutes. I guarantee you. Okay, here is a half a pound of roast beef. Here I have two tomatoes. Also, I have some banana pepper rings. With the banana peppers and the tomatoes, these are Rome, Romeo, Rome tomatoes. I'm going to make a banana pepper relish to go on top of this roast beef sandwich. Oh yeah, and you guys are not going to believe this. I have this Heinz home style savory beef gravy. Okay, you, are you guys following me now? Okay, so you'll see what I'm about to do, right? Okay, and this is a 12 ounce jar. We might need it all, but if not, I'll put it in the description box below. And I did not want to get a six pack of rolls since I'm only making two roast beef sandwiches. So I have two of the hoagie rolls that I just got out of the bread basket that we're gonna cut open, heat it, and then put the roast beef, the gravy, and the banana pepper relish. Oh, okay, one more thing. Now I might put it in mine and I might not. Here I have mozzarella cheese. Okay, if I can get it. One thing I like about the deli, you can get whatever you want. If you only want two slices, get two slices. If you want three slices, get three slices. But here I got two slices of the mozzarella cheese. One I'm going to put at the bottom of the roll, then put that hot roast beef on it. And it's going to melt, be ooey and gooey. All right, you guys, let me get this pepper relish going. Then I'll come back and show you what we're going to do with this roast beef. All right, hang tight. Don't go too far. This is a Saturday with Mrs. O. All right, you guys, let me show you how I want you to cut the tomato. And please do me a favor. Don't be like me. Please sharpen your knife. Okay, this is the back end right here. You're gonna cut this off because we're not gonna need that, okay? And we can put these to the side. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna stand it up. Always hold your fingers, your two fingers out. We're gonna go down the middle like this. And I know, pretty lazy. I should've got a cutting board, but it's a Saturday. I don't feel like washing cutting boards, all right? Now we're going to lay it flat Always remember to hold your fingers back. And it also gives you a grip on the subject that you're cutting. Now, this ain't too sharp, but we're gonna go down like this. Okay, I probably smashed this one. See, yep, ain't sharp enough. But hopefully you guys get the idea. And then turn it around and again, hold your fingers back, and let's just cut it. If I was on a cutting board and the knife was sharper, it would be much smoother, but I want you guys to see how I'm cutting it. Can you guys see that? It's not a very good job because I'm on a paper plate. All right, let 
me just do this real fast. Just go back and forth. Keep your fingers back. And also, uh, once I move, I'm going to bring in some of my culinary techniques, which I'll probably have to uh, work on with my cuts. You know, dice, mess, cube. But this is definitely not an example of how to cut this tomato. But anyway, you want it small, all right? I'm going to finish chopping it up. Then I'll come back. Just mash it. I want you to see this cute little six-inch uh, skillet I got at Kohl's. It was on sale for $17. Then I got a 10% off and another discount and the skillet came to $10. I mean, it is so cute. And since I'm only making two sandwiches, I wasn't about to pull out a big skillet. All right, you remember the homestyle gravy? We're gonna pour this baby in here. Let's just keep pouring, let's keep pouring. You see how hot that is? That's freaking cool with it. Guess what we're about to do? We're about to put this roast beef in here. Oh yeah, you see that? And you're gonna be like, uh-uh, it ain't that easy. Oh yes, it is that easy. And what it's going to do is going to cook it. And this thing actually has a cute little top. So we're going to do this probably for about 10 minutes. cute what didn't have to make no gravy and please do not put any salt in this now I might put a little black pepper but that's about it okay let's put the rest of this in here I mean, this skillet is so gorgeous and all I gotta do is wipe it out when I finish all right look at that we're gonna cover this and it actually has a uh, a temperature gauge on it so I'm going to cut it down let it simmer for about 10 minutes and when I come back we will have the finished presentation of this easy easy and delicious roast beef look at that and I want to show you the uh, uh, banana pepper relish look at this and it has a twang and then the sweetness of the tomatoes, and we're actually going to put that on top. We're not going to toast uh, the hoagie. We're just going to microwave it, split it down the middle, fill it with this roast beef, and yum! It will be good eat. All right. See you guys back in about 12 minutes. beef sandwich with the uh, banana pepper and tomato relish. That relish really, really sets it off. I don't know how in the world I am going to take a bite for you all so you can see this. The meat is tender because all we did was just let it simmer in that gravy which we didn't have to make. Heinz made it. But the flavor and everything is on point. Very good Saturday meal and so easy to make. All right, let me see if I can grab it. I want you guys to see this up close. Can you see that? You see that? All right, I'm going in. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my Lord. That is some kind of delicious. Wow. You guys really have to try this. Thank you all for watching. Thanks to all of my new subscribers. And thanks to all of my old Ride or Die subscribers. 
please give this video a thumbs up. Please share and like and comment below. And until we meet again, you guys have a blessed weekend. And stay safe. God bless you. I'm going in one more time. God bless.